We present a novel skeleton extraction method based on geometry contraction. The method works directly on the mesh domain without pre-sampling the model into a volumetric representation. The method is simple and fast as demonstrated in this video which was captured in real time. The geometry contraction is accomplished by applying constrained Laplacian smoothing to iteratively contract the mesh into an approximate zero volume degenerate mesh. Here the contracted faces are drawn in red. This process does not alter the mesh connectivity. We formulate the geometry contraction process as an energy minimization problem involving contraction and attraction constraints. The contraction constraints are based on the discrete Laplace operator which provides forces to remove the geometry details along the approximate normal directions. The attraction constraints use the mesh vertices as anchors to retain the necessary geometry information in the collapsing shape. These two types of constraints are carefully weighted for different vertices during the iterations to produce a contracted mesh that abstracts the geometry of the given model well. We then perform a connectivity surgery to convert the contracted mesh into a 1D curve skeleton. Specifically, we apply half-edge collapses to remove all the collapsed faces. The requirements are to keep the shape of the contracted mesh during this process and to retain sufficient sample points to achieve a fine correspondence between the skeleton and the mesh. We devise an energy function that balances the shape and sampling requirements. For clearer illustration, we speed up the early frames of this video clip and slow down the ending frames. The extracted curve skeleton is guaranteed to be homotopic to the original model. Here we show some examples of skeletons extracted for high Janus models. This property is due to the fact that the edge collapses never disconnect a mesh and that we prohibit edge collapses that close tunnels. We record all the edge collapses during the connectivity surgery process. This induces a skeleton mesh mapping that maps each skeleton node to a set of mesh vertices that are contracted and collapsed to that skeleton node. This information is valuable for many applications, such as segmentation, deformation, and shape matching. The extracted skeleton may be off-center or go outside the mesh. We refine the skeleton embedding by relocating each skeleton node to the approximate center of its corresponding mesh region. We also merge a junction node with a neighbor if the merging improves the centeredness of that junction node. Our skeleton extraction method has additional desirable properties. First, it is noise insensitive due to the use of implicit geometry smoothing to contract the mesh. Our method is pose insensitive since the geometric contraction depends only on the normal field of the mesh, which is locally invariant to local rotations. Our method is largely independent of the size and resolution of the mesh models. Here, the left models are much denser than the right models, but the extracted skeletons are similar in terms of junctions and branches. Here, we show more examples of skeletons extracted using our method. We demonstrate the effectiveness of our skeleton framework in two applications. First, we design a simple segmentation algorithm by exploiting the skeleton mesh mapping and the local thickness information produced by the skeletonization process. The algorithm identifies a cutting node in each branch of the skeleton, starting from the thickest branch. For each cutting node, we search for the segmentation boundary in its nearby mesh regions using a minimal cut algorithm. Here is another segmentation example. We also apply our skeleton extraction method to skinning. Given a set of example poses of the same model, we first contract the geometry of each example mesh independently and apply the connective surgery to all the meshes simultaneously. This produces a set of curved skeletons that have the same set of nodes and edges. We then downsample the curved skeletons into compatible bone skeletons by considering the bending angles in all the poses. To demonstrate the effectiveness of the automatically extracted compatible skeletons, we use 12 example poses to produce this animation sequence. We input the mesh skeleton pairs to the rotation regression model to reconstruct the animation.